27. Psalm 27, are you there? Psalm 27, praise the Lord. From verse 1, praise the Lord. If, they, if we are there, we can bless us in Jesus' name. I believe we have a mark there. <coughs> Amen. Psalm 27, from verse 1, you can go until verse, hallelujah, verse 4. Psalm 27, from verse 1 to verse 4, it reads as follows. The Lord is... 1 to, to, uh, one to 6. 1 to 6. Amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Amen. Amen. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I be afraid? Amen. Nothing. If God is my light, is my salvation, there is nothing to worry. David, he made this way that he knew God. You know, David knew God. And David, he said, when I pass through the valley of the shadow of death, I'm not fear, no evil. Because the Lord, you are with me. Amen. And he said, praise the Lord. One thing, he said, praise the Lord. Because David knew about God is his strength. Like us that we know about, like there is nothing in this world that you put us down as long as God is our strength. I am somebody. I'm doing the know that God is your strength. God is my strength. When you go through difficult moments, don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Amen? Don't give up on God. One of the secrets is this. Keep on doing good. Amen? When people that are doing evil to you, do good to them. It's a secret. Don't be like pagan. Oh, you do bad to me. I'll do bad to you. No. When people, they do bad to you, do good to them. But do that, you are overcome evil. I am somebody. Our secret is not fighting against flesh and blood. Our secret is fighting against principality and domination. As a human being, I will do good to you. But doing good to you, I'm doing good to myself. I can't tell you another man. Any time when you are doing good to somebody, a human being, you are doing good to yourself. That's why in your life, remember one thing. Start to sow a seed. Hallelujah. Of what you want to see in your life. Treat people the way that you want them to treat you. I can't tell you another man. Treat them the way that you want them to. By doing that, good will follow you. David, he make this way, say, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Look about the life of David. David didn't want to kill, hallelujah, so if in those he had the opportunity to kill him. Because he refused to pay bad to bad. He was a person of doing good. So therefore, good things must follow him. Friends, as long as we follow the principle of our Lord Jesus Christ, I promise you good things will follow you. Remember one thing, God is a God of good things. That's why God wants you to have a good heart. I can't tell you that, like, amen. The devil, he wants you to have a bad heart. That way he's attracting bad people around you. At your workplace, somebody that he don't know you is coming to try to destroy you. Somebody that he don't know where you are coming from, hallelujah, the education and your level, is coming to try to intimidate you, to try, hallelujah, praise the Lord, to speak things that will make you upset because he wants to destroy your pure heart. Hallelujah, I pray for you. May God give you grace 
to guard your heart. If you are the one, can I hear a ladder? Amen. May God give you grace. Your heart is so pure. It's so precious unto God. And the God is saying, my son, give me your heart. Because your heart is so pure to the house of God. And the devil wants to date it. Because if the devil can date your heart, we will see it through your mouth. Bible says, it's from the abundance of your heart, your mouth speak. When your heart is pure, we will see that pure. You know that some people, when they open their mouth, they are speaking soft, but they make you cross. It's not as soft or as scream, as loud, or as strong is your voice. I remember when God called me to be a pastor, I, I was trying to reject it because I didn't have a voice of a priest. Because that time to be a priest, you are supposed to have a, a voice like, oh, brother, how are you doing? Good morning, brother. But I didn't have that voice. I said, God, which kind of preacher I will be? Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. But preaching was not in those strong voice. I remember, praise the Lord, maybe that time they have those voices because there was no mic. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, somebody. A person can make you cross by talking soft. But it's make you cross. Amen? A, a person can make you happy by just one word. If it's coming from the heart that is pure, you are communicating life to people. That's why you and me, we need to have that weapon of not accepting everything. You need to learn to reject certain things. You see somebody is bringing a bad atmosphere through his conversation. You feel like your mood is start to go down. You start to feel fear start to enter you. No one thinks you are under an attack. Holy Ghost fire. I reject it. I can't tell you that, man. We are in this season. Somebody sent me some, just a small clip. Check about what is happening. I see like the more I'm watching, fear start to enter me. I delete it. I say, Holy Ghost fire, I reject this news. It doesn't matter who send it. I reject it. We didn't receive a spirit of fear. Why this message is bringing fear in my life? I reject it. Because fear is a weapon that the devil uses. Where there is fear, there is no power to overcome. Amen. I can't tell you that. Man. You want to overcome? Put yourself in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Of possibility. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So therefore, I'm not accept anything that people say that you create fear in my life. Anything that I need to accept in my life is based on the vision of what God gave to me. I know one thing on earth. I'm here in the assignment. So therefore, there is no human being on earth that should take me out of this planet. Be because Bible said the enemy will never surprise you at your door. This lockdown that we see, God showed us since 2014. 2015, we knew about 2020 is a war. Other country was 2019. Is it true? COVID 19. As we start in 2020, God said to us, 2020, it will be a war. Amen? And we see it. We see it. Nothing is surprise a child of God. Amen. Don't allow the talk of people to paralyze you. No matter if it's coming from your uncle from your father, from your friend. If it's create fear, reject it. Reject it. You didn't receive a spirit of fear. Bible says you are more than conquerors. You are, according to the scripture, you are a soldier of Jesus Christ. I can't tell you that, man. You are a soldier. Soldier, they have a heart. Huh? They have a heart. Praise the Lord. That is different with the heart of other people. Your heart needs to be different. If you need to change, if you want God to change your story and to change the story of your family, don't accept everything that people say. Accept only what God say. Hallelujah. I can't tell you like the man. Glory be to God. Why God didn't allow certain people to enter in Cana? Because their mind was different. Caleb and Joshua. Hallelujah. When they came out. Hallelujah. When they went to check the city. Other people, they feel like they were too small. Because that time there used to be some giants. If you see about Prophet Bob is tall. I'm not tall. There are some people that are tall. I can't tell you like the man. Thank God in this church we are, most of the men we are tall. Thank God. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Amen. The other day I was feeling intimidated. When I see Pastor Patrick, he just arrived there just to like, Toop! I said, ah, Jesus. I need a chair to go there. <laughs> Pastor Patrick is not doing it. Ah, slowly. Like, ah, Pastor Patrick.
electric. This is the day. I need the chain now. <laughs> but him, relaxing when we are praying, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah. I say, no, this is another level. Praise the Lord. But uh, when I'm compared to other people, I'm taller. When Pastor Patrick is there, I resign. Praise God. <laughs> Time there were some giant people. Giants. Glory be to God. Giant people. But those people, they were just thinking like they were too small. But Caleb Joshua, I said, like, listen, if in those there is some giants, <laughs> our God is bigger. Amen. God is already given to us the land. I prophesy over somebody that had the sound of a voice. I declare in this season, your business will stand. You become rich. You become a successful. You win the battle. You buy your miracle house. With God, all things are possible. Woo. We are talking about God. We are not talking about a human being that promised you and disappear. We are talking about God. The owner of this life. Aye. People, they can promise you they will disappear. But the owner of this life, Jehovah Jireh, El Shaddai, eternal God. The God that picked David. From the bush. He make him a king. He make him a king. He's the God that I'm talking. I'm talking the God of the Bible. The God of Daniel. That they put Daniel among of the lion. The lion decided to fast. He's the God that I'm talking about. I can't tell you that man. I pray for you. The God of Daniel will appear in your life. You won't die before your time. You won't see poverty in the name of Jesus. If you taste poverty because of COVID, I remove that poverty in the name of Jesus. I pray may heaven favor you. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't allow the talk of others to affect your faith. This season, you need to guard your heart. Allow God to protect your heart. Protect your heart. Expose yourself to the word of God. That's what God is said to Joshua. Joshua, my servant Moses is dead. Yes, people are crying. But God is said to Joshua, this book of the law, Joshua chapter 1, this book of the law shall not depart from the mouth. He said, my servant Moses is dead. Every place that you put your feet I give unto you. But he said one thing, this book of the law, the strength was not every place that you put your feet, but the strength of Joshua is Read the word. The word of God, it will give you a mentality of God. It will give you a mindset of God. It will give you, hallelujah, a mindset of a champion. Champion, they think different. I can't tell you that, amen. It's like when you take about a business owner and then you take about somebody that is making a CV. All of them that are in South Africa, all of them, they don't think the same. This one is thinking about him. Creates business employing people. This one is looking for a salary. It's true. Same people. I pray for you. Same nation. But I pray for you by the spirit of God. You will never go dry in your life. I say you will never go dry in your life. Now, if God is our secret, if God is our strength, what is the things I need to do in my life? If God is my strength, what is the things that I need to do in my life to see the strength of God at work in my life? If God is my strength. Number one. Are you there? Are we there? I'm people they know that God is your strength. Say God is my strength. Say God is my strength. In Jesus name. If God is your strength, number one. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Give your very best unto Jesus. Give your very best. Your very best belong to Jesus. I hear me somebody. Give your very best. Mark chapter 14 verse 3. The woman, praise the Lord, of difference. A woman of value. A woman that make impacts in the life of Jesus. She arrived there. She took a very expensive perfume. She break it at the feet of Jesus. It was the very best. 
if you give the very best unto God, eh, the very best will come to you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you give your very best, God you give to you the very best. What can we give to the Lord Jesus? What is the thing that we can give? You can give him the best of your love. The best of your love. The best of your love. Revelation shows us about God is saying, I know what you are doing is perfect. I know you are doing well. But he said one thing, what I have against you, you don't love me the way that you used to love me. Amen. So God, he always compare your relationship with him. He always measure the way that you love him now. Yes, you are stable in life. You have house, you have car, you have children. You have responsibility. But God, he said, if I compare the way that you used to love me when you didn't have nothing, and then now you are stable in life. Are you love me more or are you love me less? You need always to check what is the things I used to do for God and that no one used to push me. If that love disappears, you look about your prayer life, you can give excuse. Now you start to do only praise the Lord. You enter in your duvet. Oh, it's, it's winter. You enter in your duvet. Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. I remember when we were small, my brother used to say, the right way to be protected when you, are, when you want to sleep is when you pray, you are in the duvet, you pray and you sleep. <laughs> that was wrong. <laughs> I used to think about if I sleep when I'm praying, me and my brother, then we are protected. Amen. So it's very important for you to check your love for God. Your love for God needs to be more. You need to increase daily. I pray by the Spirit of God. May your love for Elohim increase in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are the one, can I hear Elad? Amen. And the God always check about your level that you love other people, the way that you love your parents, the way that you love your job, the way that you love your wife, your husbands. If you love them more than God, it's a big problem. Amen. Why are you quiet? If you love your brother, your husband, your job, your business, your dream, more than God, you are not deserve to be part of the kingdom. Because there is nothing, huh? and there is nothing in this world, or any human being, that you need to love more than God. Your love for God needs to remain always superior to any type of love. You know that some people, the reason that they come even to church, because they want money. It's true. Some is because they want marriage. The day that they will have it, they will forget the pastor. Because if you forget God, you forget the pastor. You forget the church. It's true. I always see something. When somebody backslides, there is nothing a man of God can do. Amen. There is nothing a man of God can do. If a person hates God, there is nothing a human being can do except God to touch that person again. So your love for God eh, needs to be superior to any person. If you are the one, can I hear a loud amen? amen? Say, Father, help me to love you more in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. I will love God for the rest of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give your very best love unto God. God, for anything in my life, I will serve you. I will serve you with my heart. I will serve you with my time. I will serve you with everything. You know, this life eh, is so precious. People, they want you because you are breathing. The day that you stop breathing, no one wants you. They will cry, but they want to sleep in the same bed with you. Amen? As long as you are breathing, is where people, they want you. Hey, brother, I was looking for you. Sister, I was looking for you. Oh, I love you. I know this. I know this. Do you see somebody? Praise the Lord. Go to marry somebody that already dead. Amen? May God favor us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Number two. 
give hallelujah to him. First Matthew chapter 10 verse 37. Matthew chapter 10 verse 37. John chapter 21 verse 15 to 17. Number two, give hallelujah. We can give hallelujah the best of our year. This year is belong to God. So that means the best of every day is belong to God. I will pay the tithe of my day. If you want to be a, a strong believer, <coughs> forget about those singing too much and prayers more. There are some people, they don't know, they can be 10 years in church, they don't know how to pray seriously. Because the moment you say, shall we pray, musician, they already start. It's only the pastor that pray. You must pray for yourself. You must learn to give your tithe of your day. Your tithe of the month. Your tithe of the year. What is my tithe of the day? I have 24 hours. 24 hours I can spend, hallelujah, 2 hours and 40 minutes is a 10% of my day. It's true. 10% of my day when I need to spend time in prayer, reading the scripture, speaking about God to other people. In my 20, hallelujah, 2 hours and 40 minutes, talking about the love of God, reading is a moment that I give my tithes. My wife, thank you very much because you love me. It's a time that I want to give my tithe unto God. It's personal. She can't pay tithe for me. I need to pay tithe for myself. I can't tell her the man. So I need to give 20, hallelujah, two hours and 40 minutes when I give, hallelujah, time to God. So that means I can do it in different time. I can pray small in the morning. I can pray during the day and I can pray during the night and I talk about other people, to talk about Jesus to other people that make my 24, hour, two hours and 40 minutes that I pay my tithe on my day. Amen. You can start from there. From that time, God, he can bring you three hours. If you can give your tithe of the day, you will see how precious the rest of your day will be. Praise the Lord. So, hallelujah, number three. Give your talent unto him. Give your talent unto God. Give your talent unto God. Your talent. God bless you with some gifts. God bless you with some gifts. Use it to advance the kingdom of God. Yes, outside he can bring you money, but in the house of God, God, this is my offering that I bring my gifts that I give to you. I can't tell you that, amen. It's my gift that I give to you. See me, God. See me, God. I can't tell you that, amen. Learn to give your very best. Your very, you are good in talking to people. You can, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Reach out. You are good with children. Sunday school is there waiting for our children. They are so happy. You know children? When it's Sunday school, they are happy. You know how to sing. You can join the choir. Your, hallelujah, your gifts, your talent, bring it unto God. You are a business person. Praise the Lord. You know you are a business person, so that means you see life different than other people. It's true. A business person, he can enter here, he can calculate, okay, this building and all of they can pay this amount. If they don't pay this amount, that means it must be this amount. It's true. Business people, we think about money. It's true. Uh, why are you not, why are you not saying amen? Yeah. Business people, they can calculate. Mm, this can be, if we say, oh, I didn't, I didn't think about that. You know already, somehow, somewhere, like this one, it can be only this amount. And when you're a business person, when you enter like a church like this one, you know, like this church, if I'm not support, maybe somebody else is not support. So what I need to do, because you think about money, you can see how you can support in one area or another area financially. You are serving God with your gift. It's your department. You're a business person. So you know it very well. I can't tell you that, amen. Every person in the body of Christ has a role. This hand is coming from Africa. Hello? It's not from America. It's not from UK. It's coming from Africa. We use our hand different. I can use it to cut the grass, but I can use it to eat pap with my hand. You, you are coming from... KwaZulu Natal, you need a knife and fork. It's different now. I can't tell you that, amen. I can't tell you that, amen. I see somebody eat pap with knife and fork. I say, wasting of time. How come you're going to enjoy pap with knife and fork? It doesn't work. Glory be to God. Put water on the side. Ready. 
Hallelujah. You will enjoy it because you feel it first in your hands before your stomach feels it. It's different. Amen? Everybody is different. Everybody sees life different. Amen? Do you eat chicken with a knife and fork? It doesn't work. Put a knife and fork on the side. Enjoy the bones. You know when I was small, the best part of the chicken, it was the bones. You eat from the end to this end. <laughs> and then you break the bones. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. Life, we see life different. That is the same way in the body of Christ. One person is a leg. Another person is a hand. Another person is the eyes. All of us were in the church, but all of us we see life different. All of us we attack life different. And in this way also of serving God, we need to serve God in a different way. Glory be to God. I pray for your life in Jesus' name. In the area that God will elevate you. May you serve God in that area in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are the one, can I hear you louder? Amen. May you serve God in every area. Your talent. Hallelujah. We need to see your talent in the house of God. So when God visits Amen Christian Church, he wants to see Lawrence. Talent. He wants to see Sandy Lawrence. He wants to see Papa Joe. Talent. You want to see Papa Hallelujah Tony talent. You want to see Papa George talent. You want to see Hallelujah your talent. You want to see you there. When all our talent are together, the name of God is glorified. You want to see the people that are strong in the administration talents. That some people they can be offended because you just come one second late. It's true. Where I'm coming from, two hours late. You don't even feel, you don't even complain. Two hours, two hours, you don't even apologize. And you are having to say, I have a meeting. What time was the meeting? The meeting was 10 o'clock. Now we are 4 o'clock. No worry. But there are some people that are good in the administration. When they will tell you, time to start, time to finish. You can serve God. All of us, we are unique. I can't tell you that, man. Today I pray for you. May the devil, he will never use you. For you to disconnect yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ. May God give you grace to be connected to the army of God. So that together we can win and overcome this world. In Jesus' name. Shall we stand because of time? Are you blessed? I bless you today. Go with the all of God.